everyone, it's Angel again. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I really, really want to play around with my, um, I guess this is kind of like a Christmas present to myself because <laughs> I've been wanting these for a really long time. These are the Jane Davenport Aqua Pastels that came out a while ago. I'm probably late to the party on them. If you've already got them, let me know um, in the comments below if you have them already and how you like them and how you use them. This is my very, very first set of watercolor crayons. It's uh, my first experience actually with watercolor crayons. So um, I'm really excited to try them out. So far, I have only really swatched them out and then I did like a little um, sketch of them. So which, which way is the best way to show these off y'all? Um, let me do it this way. So, um, so here are all the pretty colors and um, if you don't have them, um, she doesn't have them named, like the colors themselves aren't, um, she didn't name them, you know, your classic traditional artist colors. They're all named after all of her favorite painters or her favorite art, or her favorite artists, sorry. Um, and, uh, and yeah, some of them I didn't recognize, but most of them I did. And I just thought it was interesting um, which artists she chose for which colors and I you know I kind of thought that was cool I'm usually kind of a traditionalist snob you know when it comes to naming colors I feel like it's just so much easier for us if they're named you know artist colors but you know Jane Davenport <laughs> she can do whatever she wants <laughs> you know she's just she's just an amazing artist so so um, like I said, here are the swatches. And then I did like a little, a playful little sketch of a birdhouse. Um, and uh, that's all really I've done with these bad boys so far. So um, let's just jump right into playing around with them. And like I said, you know, bear with me because this is my very first time um, playing around with um, watercolor crayons. So I'm gonna be using this, um, this photo of a hibiscus that I took a long time ago um, on my porch. Um, and um, feel free to screenshot if you want to, if you want to use it and um, do this along with me. Um, I don't expect anything uh, groundbreaking, like there's not gonna be any groundbreaking art here. Cause like I said, this is my very first time even playing around with them, but I just thought, um, you know, I know it's the Christmas season right now, but I'm not feeling very Christmassy right now. I, you know, especially not with these colors. I just feel, and it's, you know, it's Jane Davenport. So I feel like it, we should be doing something, um, you know, playful and bold and colorful and whimsical. So um, let's just do, or I'm going to do a, a beautiful, well, a, a whimsical, hopefully it'll come out whimsical, um, hibiscus. So you see this little, <laughs> mutant petal here I'm not going to I'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna draw that in so I'm just gonna loosely um, draw this uh, pretty hibiscus and um, it's gonna be interesting because this is a really beautiful um, almost orange tang you know orange juice kind of like color and there is no true orange in here so I'm just gonna work with what I have, and if it comes out orange, it comes out orange. I'm really just using this um, for the values, um, which is something that I actually have a very difficult time with. I have a difficult, difficult time with, um, you know, values. So, um, so yeah, so bear with me. So, um, should I, well, let's just, let's just, I'll do, let, let's do yellow. Um, so, when I'm doing a flower, which I don't have a whole lot of experience with flowers, I kind of, I kind of try, um, I think this is something that I learned from the Frugal Crafter. You know how when you draw a star, like it's got five points, you know, and it's kind of like, if you think of it kind of like a person, you know, head, ha two hands, and then the two feet. So it's kind of like, you know, like, <laughs> it's hard to explain. Um, if you were to draw a star, like that's kind of how it would be, especially when you're looking at it, you know, head on basically. And that's why I'm not gonna draw this little mutant petal. <laughs> I'm just kind of gonna wing it a little. I'm really not good at kind of uh, 
doing that. So I'm just gonna draw like a circle for, you know, for this part, the pollen. I think that's called the, is that called the stamen? Or the piston? I think the piston is this part, or this part, right here in the shadow, and then that's called the stamen. I don't know. If you're a science teacher, um, chime in here because I don't remember. <laughs> so I'm just kind of just roughly do it in yellow and hopefully it's, oh, see it, like there, there you go. And like I said, I'm skipping that. Just gonna. Just make this kind of big, I guess, like a big. So, okay. And th this color is Monet. Um, I need my little color guide here. Here's my little color guide. Um, and since we're wanting it to be, what color is this? Cezanne. And I want some pink, so let's go with Frida here. So I'm just gonna just hang out with me while I'm playing around with these guys because I really don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I really don't. I maybe should have um, wet my paper first, but I don't know. I just wanted to play around with them. I really not trying to um, make anything, you know, groundbreaking. I just I just want to see what I just want to see what these can do. You know. So, just since there's a little bit of pink. Oh, do I have a purple? I like to use purple as shadows, but I may be getting a little ahead of myself here. Maybe I should wait. Yeah, let me wait on the purple because purple and yellow might um, turn kind of brown <laughs> since they are complementary colors. So, okay. So I'm just, you know, I'm just kind of laying in a little bit of color um, and then I'm going to spray it with water, I don't know, just to see what's going to happen. And I kind of want to put in some of these, these veins, <laughs> kind of. So let's see if I like that so far. I'm going to spray it. Ooh. And then I'm just gonna Ooh. wow the colors really come alive you know honestly like the color payoff on this on these are so good, so vibrant, my goodness. I think this is gonna help me out a lot too because I have trouble with um, negative space and um, in, in painting negative space and so maybe if I have a crayon, um, it's going to uh, help me. I'll have more control at least. So, ooh. and then I didn't, I didn't put that much color. This is just my Pentol uh, watercolor brush. I think it's a number six 
yeah, it's a number six, but you know, whatever. <clears throat> so, I, I want to see if I can get the color off with my brush. Mm, not really. So, ooh. And this is um, student grade paper, so it's not that great either. It's just, um, you know, practice paper. <clears throat> so while that's drying, um, I kind of want to try something different for the the background for the like for the leaves. So I'm just gonna spray it all around a little bit and. Um, I'm gonna take this green and this is Toulouse Lautrec. Excuse my bad French accent. Um, and so I'm just gonna draw in some leaves. I feel like I should use blue because hibiscus leaves tend to be a little bit a little bit darker. <clears throat> I don't know if I like that, <laughs> but I don't have to. <laughs> I don't have to like it, right? I'm not sure if I should have done that, but but that's the whole point of what I wanted to do today. I just wanted to experiment and see if I, you know, see how I felt about these crayons. See if I, you know, see how, see what I can do with them. Learn, you know, I'm, it's my first time. <laughs> it really is. I'm a watercolor crayon virgin, y'all. Popping my cherry today. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know. Stupid joke. Um, I don't really like this green for, um, for um, hibiscus leaves, but it's the green that I have, so it's the green that I'm using. And, and it, I think, I think putting it with this um, this blue Van Gogh, um, it gives it a little bit more, you know, a deeper, a deeper color. I'm not really a fan of um, like manufactured green. I like to mix my own greens. Um, but you know, that's just me. I feel like once it comes out of the, the tube or from, you know, like the pencil, it, it needs to be mixed with something else. That's something that, um, my, uh, my watercolor teacher always used to stress to us. I think I want it to be, I want it to have a yellow vein. Hi, mouse. And I don't know if it's still wet, but let's put the blue down. I think this actually, like, I think these, I, I really think these crayons are going to be good for me because it's keeping me loose, you know? It's, I, I tend to agonize a little bit over a watercolor because I want it to be beautiful and, um, Sometimes I, I, I tend to overwork a little bit or um, um, get a little bit too detail-oriented, which is really, for I think for watercolor is not the way to go. I know some people like, you know, that super realist look. I personally don't. I mean, I've told you guys before, my skill level isn't even anywhere near that, <laughs> but... Um, but yeah, <laughs> I like, I really like a loose style when it comes to art in general. I mean, I do love to admire, um, uh, you know, realists, realism and, um, and all that 
stuff. But as far as like, do I want that? <laughs> like, no. Um, I I don't know. I like I like it loose and free and fresh and um, and um, yeah. So let me dry this and then I'll be right back. Well, it's dry. Um, that was a longer pause than I had planned to take because. The uh, landscaping people came to mow the lawn and my dogs went nuts as usual um, they just you know want to murder anybody who um, <laughs> comes up in the yard when my husband's not home <laughs> so, especially my female dog like I'm I don't really have a lot of experience with like females you know when it comes to pets I've always had boy dogs and so to have like this sweet little girl puppy <laughs> go into a murderous rage at the drop of a dime is hilarious to me <laughs> so anyway so i'm just gonna put some details in um these petals and then i want to i don't know if you can see this is almost like a really like peach lemonade kind of color which i love and so i just want to um, add a little bit of um, this red over the yellow so that it will make a similar color on these petals and um, put in a little details a, a, well a few more details and then I would call this I would probably call this done because <laughs> like I said I really just wanted to um, to uh, experiment with these and so I just want to put in um, some details <laughs> loose details and uh, end this video and call it a day <laughs> but I, I really am enjoying I really am enjoying these I, I truly am this is um, I'm so glad I picked these up I, I can't wait to uh, really use these the way um, the way that I can in my in, you know like in my journals so um, let me see if I can I think my number one advice to somebody like thinking about getting these would be and that's probably obvious I probably don't even need to say um it would definitely be to um, use a, a, a really good paper because, like I said, this paper is student grade. It's a Strathmore, um, I think a 200. Um, I don't even think it's like, I think maybe it's 99 pound or 90 pound. I don't even think it's like, uh, I usually try to get at least 140, but I think this is only 90 pound. And, um, it's, I mean, it's okay, I think, for, you know, for what I do, I, you know, practicing and stuff like that, but, but for, like, layering, it's really not that great, I don't think. <laughs> so, um, so I have this little tin, um, this is just, like, a little, uh, puzzle tin that I got at the dollar store, and, um, I am going to draw, or I'm gonna get some of this color on it so that I can, um, you know, mix it a little bit with the, this is, um, so that was Monet, the yellow, and then this is um, Frida, which is a really, really pretty, um, like, light magenta, pinky magenta, and Cezanne, which is a nice warm red, and um, just get some of that Get some of that on there and just kind of oh this, the color payoff man I wish I like I wish I had a better camera eventually I will get one <laughs> but uh for now I'm just gonna have to make do with this this camera here <laughs> that I'm using my husband bought this camera to uh record um being in the ocean and stuff like that but um it's a gopro and it works just fine, you know, for what I want to do. But if I wanted to make, like, better um, videos, which I do, um, I'm going to need to get a much better camera. So I did not, um, 
I didn't leave any white um, for the highlights, so I'll probably put them in. So I'll probably put them in with a pen. So that works really well, I think. The uh, putting that I learned that from um, also from uh, Lindsay Weirich, the frugal crafter. I you know honestly I, I mean and I've been studying watercolor for oh, how many years now like years. Um, I've learned more I think from her from just watching her channel than any other teacher like in person that I've ever had and I've had some good teachers, but I I just I, I just I really admire her just as a person, as an artist. And um, she's just so talented and beautiful and um, just so confident, you know? It's just a confident that I, confidence that I wish, I wish that I had <laughs> too. <laughs> um, and I, I, I just, I love that she's just so encouraging and um, just so free with, with her knowledge, you know? And, um, so generous to us and um yeah I mean I could just go on and on about how much how much I admire her so um I feel like I want a little bit so I'm just gonna put some of this purple Michelangelo Michelangelo down and um I think another Another, uh, some more good advice that I would give is to use, uh, maybe use a softer brush. I mean, it's good to use a stiff brush because of the texture of these crayons are very waxy. So that helps, you know, push, push the color around. But I just think, oh, look at that. Look how that purple makes like a really nice shadow right there, right? And then there's like a shadow up here where it folds. I'm not trying to um, get, you know, too detailed with this. I really don't want um, too much detail, but I think it's good to have a little bit, <laughs> a little bit of detail. One of the reasons why I have always shied away from um, doing flowers in the past, and I think a lot of people um, kind of shy away from doing flowers, is because of the amount of detail that we think we need. Um, but I've been slowly trying really hard to loosen up like I keep saying, um, and, um, try to step out of my, my comfort zone and, um, and do flowers because I not only, I mean, I love, I really love looking at them and I really love, um, looking at paintings of flowers. So it, it's just, it's only natural for me to want to paint them too. So I'm just, I don't know, I'm just trying different, like different things on each petal, actually, um, just to see what, what works best. So I'm just going to pull some of that color out. I don't even know. Hopefully this video is not a dud, <laughs> but I'm just going to put a few, a few little veins here. Doesn't seem to be that many veins in the uh So this is dry. And this is tricky here because this is where that mutant petal was. So I kind of just have to, uh, kind of just have to wing it, which I'm really not, I'm really not very good at. <laughs> but I'm going to try. I'm going to try really hard. 
Um, and I want to put some more of this purple down. And um, God, that is such a really good trick that Lindsay taught me, huh? <laughs> or taught us, those of us who uh, worship at her feet, <laughs> basically, I think. So, uh, yeah, this is, I don't know why I'm enjoying this. This is coming out really, really nice, I think. trying to see how you know how this all layers and um I'm really enjoying myself so far I'm really really loving um I'm really loving this I'm a lot more than I thought that I would I mean I was excited about about this when I you know when I got them home and now I'm like even way more excited about it I'm just really loving how it's just so freeing it's just so like oh, I love it can't say enough things <laughs> I can't say enough things about it so I'm just adding more of this yellow so that I can uh, layer some more I'm probably uh, overdoing it a little bit but I just want to see how it layers and and pulls up so now that I'm on the last petal um, I think I want to just add a little bit more of this beautiful vibrant yellow and um i'm gonna call this finished soon I love how pink, I love how pink that is in the middle there. I used to get so frustrated. I don't know if you get like this. Let me know in the comments below if you get like this. But I, when I used to use, well, when I use um, photographs, and I, I, I use photographs a lot, you know, as my reference. It's just easier. Um, but I used to get so frustrated that, my painting or my drawing or whatever I was doing did not look anything like the photograph. I mean, this, this doesn't look anything like the photograph at all, but I don't get like that so much anymore. And I think it's, um, I think it's important to keep telling yourself that it's just for reference. It's not, you're not trying to reproduce, you know, a photo and make another photo. You're just trying to capture the essence of it the feeling of it and um that's what i'm trying to do here <laughs> and hopefully that's what i'm doing for you guys here <laughs> hopefully you're not like oh god this girl <laughs> she is you know not making any sense to me with this <laughs> But yeah, <laughs> I've just had so much fun with this. And so I think I just want to go in and kind of just to make, make some shadow. So I know there's a shadow right here and I'm just going to like loosely draw it in like, because I mean, it's, 
like see it doesn't even I probably sh didn't even need to do that but you know you know we had to <laughs> we had to and I want to dull this I kind of want to dull this yellow down a little bit on this side since if the light's coming this way then um, I want this side of the pollen to be a little bit brighter <laughs> so um, so how is that how is that looking you guys what do you think of that should I call this done I feel like I kind of should I do want it to look a little bit more I don't know I feel like there's a little bit something missing here but this video is going to be 10 years long if I keep going at it and going at it and then I'm going to you know do what I always say I don't want to do or that I don't think anybody should do which is to get bogged down in the details but I do think I want to just add a few just add a few um yeah just add a few little veins here and there and um darken it up a little bit here where there's the shadow and add like just just a few little lines here kind of soften up some of these lines and I think I'm gonna call that done you guys um I hope you like it I, I could put a little bit more detail on the leaves but I really don't want to I mean this is like I said this is just a, an experimental kind of product play fooling around with my brand new toys and um and yeah, I, this was fun. I hope you guys liked, uh, you know, this kind of video where I'm just kind of experimenting. Um, I'm really proud of my first little uh, watercolor crayon painting and I hope you liked it. I hope, um, I hope maybe that I may have inspired anybody watching to kind of step out of their own comfort zone and try something new. Cause like I said, this is my very, very first experience with uh, watercolor, watercolor crayons. And um, I'm looking forward to learning some more about how to work with them. And I hope you liked it. Let me know what you think about videos like this if you'd like to see more videos like this. And, um, and yeah, I'll probably do a junk journal video in uh, for my next video. And, uh, and yeah, hope you liked it. Um, <laughs> hope I didn't discourage anybody. <laughs> So yeah, I will see you next time and uh, take care of yourself. Go out and do something that makes you happy and brings you joy in your life. And I will see you in the very next video. Bye-bye.